All right, so to make the salsa, you need a pound of tomatillos, two fresh jalapenos, uh, you need uh, two of the Arbol peppers, and I use one of the Wajillo peppers, two garlic cloves, these are actually two big ones, and I, um, I would usually use two normal sized ones, one fresh tomato, one tablespoon, like a flat tablespoon of like um, kosher salt, and about a, a quarter to uh, a third of a white onion chopped really well. And that's what you do. That's what you're gonna use. So then you just get some cold water running and it's easier to do it that way. And you gotta take the skins off of the tomatillos, the outer skin. And sometimes there's bugs in there. So when you get that off, you gonna make sure there's nothing on there and put it in a pan to boil. Sometimes they're on there pretty good, but sometimes they come right off. See, nothing, nothing really in there, so just give it a quick rinse, because they can be sticky. And then peel the, uh, the two pieces of garlic and put them in with the, uh, with the tomatillos. And then uh, you want to fill up this with water until they just float. And then you want to put this on like uh, high to get it going. And once it starts to boil, it's maybe three or four minutes and they start to look like olive, really light olive drab. And you just let that go. Then you want to take the, uh, the peppers and put them in a pan, and no oil or anything, and you put it on like uh, you know medium high, and you just kind of let them get in there. You want to stir them around a little bit, and uh, they get they'll soften eventually once the pan gets warm. They don't they don't moisturize, but they get they get soft. So just let that go for a while, while that's going, you know, while that's going over there. And while those are over there on the stove, you can wash off the tomato in this and usually I have the onion already just in a clump and I haven't cut it yet so while that's doing that you can chop up the jalapenos into like four or five slices each and then you know like turn the tomato into like quarters just to help it blend and then get the onion to be you know nice and small and then all that can wait for you in the blender all right after all this is is cut up and those peppers have been warmed, then you just throw it all in the blender. Marianne's gonna do this for me. Because it, it, if they're all cut up, they, they really blend easier. And then you take uh, those peppers and you use the scissors to cut them into like inch, you know, like two or three pieces and, and make sure all the seeds get in there. And you, you gotta make sure all the seeds are in. And this one, you want to get all of it, with the exception of the stem. This is not what it's, you know, you can cut it a lot less, a lot less, just, just bigger chunks. And then get all of the seeds up around the stem and all of the stuff around the stem. This doesn't add a lot of heat, but it adds color and, and some flavor to it. And once everything's in there and you, you know, without the onions, and this is why the tomatillos are boiling, then you're going to blend that. And uh, you just want to pulse it until it gets going. Once it gets water, and that's good for that. And. Uh, it's easier to get all that blended before you put the tomatillos in because you, you want to blend the tomatillos up until you get the right texture. And then over here, these guys are going real good. They haven't turned color yet, but uh, another couple minutes, they should look good. And I noticed they all don't turn at the same time. So just in general, uh, when they look mostly that kind of like light olive drab looking color. And now you can see that they're all the right color and the water is 
you know, super boiling. So don't burn yourself. And then take all the tomatillos and the garlic and put it into here. One thing I did do is I forgot when I put all this in there, that's when I put in my tablespoon of salt uh, and get that all blended in there together. All right, and now you can put the hat back on and pulse that. And look, this is where you want to watch it. Because you, you want the tomatillos to be all, um, all ground up. So that's it, there's no big pieces, perfect. There, once that's all done, and you, you can taste it at that point and see how it is, that's when I'll take one fistful of onions, put them in there. So it ends up being, you know, about a quarter of an onion. For the, when I, once I put the onions in there, I just basically stir it around. I'm not grinding them up, I'm just mixing them in there while it's hot so they will soften and that's it you've got to put it in a container and then once it cools down enough put it in the fridge and you're good to go but you can see the texture of the seeds in there you don't want to lose that if you grind it too much it becomes really a puree but you need to have the seeds to show and those seeds are from the tomatillos and then you can pour it in there And it, uh, it's done. And then La Esposa cleans up the stuff. <laughs>